do it in the swimming pool. Because with this kind of motion, you're not only putting pressure onto your shoulder blade, yeah, you're putting pressure on your shoulder blade. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I share honest information about fat loss and fitness. I'm Bong and this is the second video about deltoids, your shoulder muscles. So let's get down to it. In the previous video, we discussed about the overall shoulder workout which is the shoulder press and the Arnold press as well as the front deltoid with the front lateral raise. So in this video, we are going to talk about the side deltoids and the rear deltoids. So let's get straight down into it for the first workout which is the side, uh, side deltoid, side shoulder, alright? So everyone knows that when you talk about side deltoids, it's all about the side lateral raise, hence the name side, right? Okay, if you remember last video, we discussed about um, the form, the proper form, okay? If you remember, please write down in the comments below what was it? Okay, now I'm not gonna pause here. All right, so the first thing is a good footing. Chest up, erect your chest, shoulder down. Okay, roll your shoulder behind, all right? In order for you to not, to not use your trapezius. Hold on to two dumbbells, okay? Remember, chest up, straight forward, and raise it to the side, okay? All right, as well as one thing to be reminded of, which is your elbow is never too straight, okay? Don't straighten and lock your elbow out. Always remember to have a little arc, a little bend in the elbow, so that you will reduce your injury. Let's start, chest up, and when you lift it up, you don't have to go all the way up, okay? When you lift it up, go parallel or a little bit below, okay? As high as you can, before you reach the point where you're gonna use your trapezius, see? Okay, before the point where you are gonna use your trapezius. So even if you are doing this, you're still working your side deltoids. Because the thing is, you are not using other muscle groups to kick in to help your work out your side lateral raise. So with this, remember, same thing with the front deltoid. Try not to use any other muscle part. The rotary, the, the motor generator is here. So when you spin it, set the clock, remember the clock? Okay, spin it, it's here, right? Okay, chest up. Okay, see? It goes to the side, okay? So one thing as a pointer is your finger, your thumb is pointed downwards like you're trying to pour a kettle, a hot kettle of, a hot pot of water, a kettle of water, yeah. Okay, it's like as if you're pouring water from a pot. Okay, so you lift it up, make sure the elbow is bent and the elbow is always higher than your wrist. Okay, so you don't have to tw twist and turn, you know, like how. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, anyways, don't do that. Okay, you're trying to be safe to reduce injury. Okay, to prevent injury. Okay, chest up and lift it up. Okay, from the side. On the side, same thing, chest up and lift. Okay? So try to make it parallel, straight off. So when you look to the side, you should be looking straight on, except for the bend in the elbow. Okay? The forearm is going to point uh, up probably 10 or 20 degree forward. Okay? With this, lift it to the side. Okay? You're training your side deltoids. So make sure that it's straight and with a good tempo, okay? So of course there are many variations of side deltoids. Okay, you can have the hammer, which goes like that. Okay? Same thing, a little bend on your a little bend on your elbow, alright? Chest up, straight. Okay, you can palm facing backwards. Same thing, the elbow will be higher than your wrist. 
okay? So you have three different, you have three different angles of your grip. You know, I remember one time um, when I was saying three, the number three, and there was this uh, British guy who came up to me and I was uh, talking to him and I said, okay, it's uh, three, it was three dollars. And he looked at me and said, three, three dollars. Yes. I said, yes, three dollars. Well, I couldn't carry a tree for you. I was thinking, what tree? So he meant the tree. So I asked him, how do I pronounce the word? And he says, three. You have to say with that. Okay, let's turn to the English lesson now, eh? All right. So, three different grip, okay? It works the same side deltoids. And the next one we're gonna discuss about we're gonna talk about what not to do later, right? So the next, we're gonna talk about rear deltoids. So rear deltoid is here, and there's a very similar um, motion uh, with the back workout, which is the bend over row. Bend forward, okay. With the bend over row for the back, it's all the way behind, right? But with with our shoulder, our rear deltoids, remember to lock it, okay? Lock it at the joint here. So when you pull, you go like that. Can you see? I think so. Okay. With the rear deltoid, remember, don't lock out behind, okay? Flare it out, elbow bent, wrist lower than elbow. Bend it at a point where the shoulder blade and the shoulder joint is. Okay, remember it's here. See? Okay, this is for rear deltoid, this is for back. Rear deltoid, for back. Okay, same motion. You can you can do a little bit bend, you can do chest up, and okay, it's parallel, okay? There's another form where you can go a bit behind because our shoulder connects to the back and there's uh, some minor muscle fibers which surround that area, okay? You don't have to go forward, okay? This will be the front delta. It will be the front and the side delta connection. So, remember, it's either straight or a little back, okay? Maybe 45 degrees to the, to the rear, to the back, okay? Is there any other version, other variation other than the rear lateral raise? Like I said, it's almost similar to the back workout, the bend over row. There's another version whereby you row it like the back workout, but you stop short before you curl your back, before you squeeze your back in, okay? So, it goes similar motion, similar motion to the back workout, it's just that the back goes higher and the deltoids, the rear delt, just squeezes at the point where your rear deltoid connects to the back muscle. So that's the two versions of the rear deltoid exercise and the side deltoid exercise. And of course, if you want to spike it up a bit, you can use your cable machine, your resistant band. It all, it, it is the same theory, same motion, it's just different to use. So if you understand the basic of all this exercise for your deltoids, your shoulder muscles, it works the same regardless of what tool you use. Okay? Now, what not to do for your shoulder workout. So we discussed the front and the shoulder press in the last video. What about side lateral raise? Okay, remember what I said before earlier? When I was showing you, stop short at the point where you 
don't use your elevate your trapezius okay so this is a lot of mistake that people do they go yeah they try to I don't know flap like it like a bird and try to fly okay so don't do that okay you are training your side deltoids so make sure that it sticks to the side deltoids and not your trapezius or your upper back okay this is wrong don't do this okay the second mistake that people do is straighten out the hand so see this put a lot of pressure on both your elbow and your shoulder okay you're not trying to flap as fast as possible to fly like an eagle at the moment we don't fly in the, in the gym okay we are trying to train the deltoids not fly all right okay stop doing straight arm side lateral raise so you prevent your injury and well there are many ways but please do the normal routine first this is more advanced i rarely do this exercise because uh, you need to build a good foundation before you actually perform it if not you get injured so yeah take notice all right and this is what they call the y lateral raise or v lateral raise i'm not too sure but see you get people going high okay of course you'll be able to train your your shoulder muscles with this but a lot of people who are not uh, well advanced at the advanced level they end up using their lower back their trapezius their neck and their upper back okay what they do is they swing see and i, I don't know with, what's with this you know chicken motion anyways okay don't do that right see what is that okay the right motion for this one is you have to chest up straight bend your elbow and use your shoulder so this is for the more advanced level but i'm putting this in the what not to do with the side lateral raise because many people who are not aware of this motion and when they found out about it they end up doing it wrongly so make sure that you fully understand the basic of side lateral raise before you start to get into wide lateral raise okay and another motion which most people do wrongly for the side lateral raise so i'm gonna do it slow more first so when they lift and they couldn't lift any higher they flare up so this is the fast pace of it the fast version of it i don't know which part of muscle you're trying to do your forearm or your wrist okay it doesn't work this way okay remember see when you twist it up see you pull the stress the pressure out of your shoulder muscles and into everywhere else as well as your rear rear deltoids and shoulders and rear deltoids and low, uh, upper back okay so don't do this okay and uh, I don't know I, I actually saw someone doing <laughs> don't do that I, I I'm speechless regarding that motion but well it's high in injury it's, it's prone to injury that motion and as well as yeah people actually do this I couldn't stress more that if you want to do that motion do it in the swimming pool okay do it in the swimming pool because with this kind of motion you're not only putting pressure onto your shoulder blade yeah, yeah you're putting pressure on your shoulder blade and you're grinding it and before before your shoulder muscles is strong you're grinding it for injury and if you want to do that motion go to the swimming pool because with swimming with water you don't put a lot of pressure onto it okay because it's just resistance from the water and you're not putting a lot of weight you're not swimming dumbbells right okay so you want to do that motion do it in the swimming pool another mistake for shoulder i should have done this in the front lateral raise 
uh, video, but I see people do this. Okay? This as well. This as well is similar to this swimming motion. Okay? People used to have a wheel stuck to the wall with very high uh, resistance against it and they are spinning it. The reason being, same thing. It's like you're taking a very heavy thing, you put it forward and you put a lot of pressure here. Unless of course you're doing this or you're doing this with your other muscles. So you're putting, you're pushing the, the actual exercise away from the targeted muscles. Okay? So if you do this, at the end of the day, you're gonna try to use your other muscles, your neck or whatever muscles surrounding that area to help you to support it. And you're putting putting it at risk of injury. Okay, if you want to do the steering wheel, you see that you go and find a huge truck, you know, those really huge trucks where there's no power steering and just spin it, okay? Or find, find a resistance band where you can do that or you tie it to the side and you try to, you know, so that you put the pressure out of your shoulder here but you're actually training, it's a good exercise, okay, it's a good exercise, it's just that you have to put the right condition to each exercise to reduce with rear lateral raise, it's very easy. The mistakes which you don't do is squeeze the back, okay? squeeze the back, okay? Like turning it into a back workout, the bend over row, as well as using your bicep to pull it up, okay? See, I've seen people doing this. We, even with the back workout, they're using their bicep, okay? Make sure that is, make sure that it is on your rear deltoids, okay? Don't go all the way back to train your back, upper back or lower back, hey, upper back or mid back. And don't, don't straighten your elbow, okay? Because when you straighten your elbow, I can feel the pressure far away from my rear deltoids, okay? As well as no swimming, okay? You want to do swimming? Go to the swimming pool. And with part one and part two of this exercise video, you will be able to train um, your shoulder with the basic forms. And remember, get it right before you go advance. Okay? Prevent injury so you will prolong your exercise lifestyle. Get the basic, the foundation, foundation right first. Okay? Remember, foundation is the key. And once you understand the foundation, well, you can break the rules. You have different grips, you know, you have different tools to use it. You can even go to different machines. And with that basic, you will be able to train your muscles correctly, regardless of the environment or the situation you are in. And if you have not subscribed, please like and share to all your friends. So I don't have to hold these two dumbbells up high for too long so that you will understand the basic of the workout and share it to all your friends remember and hit that subscription button and smash that notification bell so the next time I upload a video to help you to prevent injuries and to understand the workout more and to hit that correct muscles I'm trying to breathe here oh, just smash Smash that notification bell and subscription button, yeah? And help me to share it out to all your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay safe. Try to impress people with what I call magic trick, but this is quite normal. I guess if you actually have a very defined sort of um, 